Hello everyone. Microsoft Ignite is happening right now and there are many new updates across the AI space. So in this video, I'll focus only on one thing that is very important for all the developers and the architects. And that is the new changes in Azure AI Foundry. And you know what is the biggest update? Azure AI Foundry is no longer called as the Azure AI Foundry. The new name is the Microsoft Foundry. And this is not just the name change. Microsoft has updated the full portal experience as well as the full platform. So let me explain everything in a simple flow. So before the Ignite, we had Azure AI Foundry where you could use the Azure AI agent service to deploy the agents and the models. We had the logic app for the agent loop or the human in the loop flows or the workflows. Then Microsoft introduced the Microsoft agent framework where we could design the different advanced agent workflows in the code. For governance, there was an option to use the AI gateway which sits on top of the APIM. So the features were there, but everything was scattered in the different places. Now Microsoft wants one single place to build, run, secure and manage all the agents. And that is why they have renamed the portal to Microsoft Foundry and redesigned the portal. New portal is built around the different agents, tools, knowledge, as well as the governance. Now it's much cleaner and easy to create a multi-agent application. Though new Microsoft Foundry is very buggy right now, there are a lot of issues when you click on creating something, it fails. I think because of the Ignite, they had to release all those features immediately without proper testing, but, but gradually Microsoft will take care of all those changes. So now let's talk about the main changes. The first big change is the MCP support. But before this, let me show you the portal. So I'm logged into Azure portal now. And as you can see, previously it was AI Foundry, but now it's just the Foundry. So I have created a new one with the name Demo New Foundry. It's exactly the same how you create a hub as well as the project. So I've created it. And when you click on it, it's the Foundry portal. And this is how it looks like. So this is new foundry portal and it shows that different models like cloud models are available now. Project endpoint, project API keys and the region, it provides basic details. Then you can start creating the agents directly from here, design the different workflows, browse the models. Or if you want to start coding with a quick start code, uh, it's available here, how to connect to your project and create an agent. So this is just a look and feel where you have discover button, build, operate, and you can see all the different projects which are available from on this side. So however the plan is to, I'll explain the new release feature and then show you in the, in the portal. So as I already mentioned, the first big change is the MCP support. So earlier MCP was there in the ecosystem, but it was not fully available in the Foundry portal. Now it is fully supported. There is a new MCP tool catalog, which has both the MCP tools as well as the custom logic app connectors. So now the agents can connect directly to the systems like SAP, Salesforce, ServiceNow, and many more. And you can also expose your own APIs as the custom MCP tools. So in total, there are more than 1400 connectors, custom connectors, as well as the MCP tools which are available. So let me quickly show you. So if we'll click on the discover. So first it shows like previously in the Azure AI Foundry, um, it shows the different models. If we'll go to the models, there are around, around 11,000 models something. So yeah, as you can see, there are 11,000 models which are available and it shows the latest one which are released like the cloud models now. Then if we'll go to the tools, now this is new. Now there are multiple options available. Custom tools, which is the different connectors, I would say, the logic app connectors. So you can connect with the different applications with the custom connectors. And then the MCP remote and MCP local. MCP remote is which is already hosted and MCP local is which you have to host it. So now these are available, for example, the Azure Cosmos DB and Microsoft Learn. Let me quickly check. So Microsoft Learn. So it's a MCP remote server. You can use it using this API and using the MCP client, you can connect it directly. Now it's 
previously what we used to do was using the Microsoft agent framework or using the Python code, we had to integrate it using the Azure AI agent service uh, because this functionality was not available into the portal. Now it's available directly into the portal. So let me, when I click on learn and I can connect it because it's unauthenticated, you can just directly connect it. So it will be part of your tool set now and then you can use it in an agent. So you have to create an agent and you can use it. However, there is another option of govern it with AI gateway, which we'll discuss quickly. So right now, so you can use it. When you create an agent, you can use it with an agent. So now we have list of MCP servers, which are already available. You can create the custom ones also. Now, another change is the model router, which is now generally available. Um, instead of calling a single model, you can call the model router and it picks the best model for your request. So it chooses based on the price, speed and complexity and support the model like GPT models, Llama model, uh, DeepSea, Grok and different others. And Microsoft claims that it reduces the cost and improves the performance uh, without changing your code. So I think it reduces up to 50% of the cost and the performance is 40% better. So the claim is based on what type of request is sent, it analyzes it the same way that nowadays how chat GPT does in uh, GPT-5 and GPT-5.1. So you just send the request and based on its knowledge, it thinks, okay, which model to use? Should it think for longer a reasoning model or a normal model for a quick thing? So now it's available and it's in general availability. So this is also a uh, release. If you click on the models, you can find that model router. Sorry, in the discover model router, you can see. See, I told you it's a bit laggy. It It's buggy right now uh, because Microsoft hasn't done the proper testing. But still, um, the changes are being made and gradually over the time, everything will be fixed. AI experience in Microsoft is going to improve. It took some time to open, but you can see the Grok models, DeepSeek. So it chooses among them. So all these models. Okay, now let's talk about the next one, which is Foundry Agent Service. Now you can run the hosted agent, which means your agent code runs directly inside your Foundry without managing any containers or the infrastructure. Previously also you used to create the agents directly into the Azure AI agent service. But now using the Microsoft Agent Framework, as well as lang graph you can with the different framework that means you can just create the agent directly into the azure ai agent service however they have changed the name now so it's foundry agent service now and another thing is you can also get the multi agent workflows where you can create the full workflow inside the foundry instead of depending on the logic apps as well as there is an agent memory option so before we only had the thread memory option. If we change the thread for the same agent, uh, the memory is gone. But now the agents can have a short term and the long term memory. And this feature was available in the Microsoft Agent Framework. So what Microsoft is doing is using the Logic App, Microsoft Agent Framework, and doing the cherry picking from all those and, and provided everything into the Microsoft Foundry. So now this helps agents to keep the context across the different conversation and store important information. So let me quickly show you that. So if we go into the build, you can create the agent here. Let's quickly create an agent, test agent. So the agent is created and it has picked up the model by itself it didn't ask me uh, previously it used to prompt which model do you want to select but uh, it, it just added the model by itself now if we'll go to the tools now you have a lot of options so in now you have computer use browser automation microsoft learn because we just added this so this tool is already added so right now it's that's why it's showing us configured and it's showing here so if we add the tool so Microsoft Learn is added. So let's quickly ask, what is the difference between Foundry 
classic and new let's see if it's working or not hopefully it doesn't throw an error okay perfect so now see how easy it is now to get the details i think this information is wrong this is microsoft foundry so now you can see um, so previously it provided the wrong information from its memory but when i said this is microsoft foundry so it wants to use the microsoft learn and i'm not sure if you have seen my previous videos if you have to use the microsoft learn tool you have to approve it so that's why now it's available in the portal itself previously it wasn't so now it's providing all those details microsoft foundry classic and microsoft foundry new and because this is released yesterday and it's fetching the details so that means it's directly picking up from the documentation which is really good and it's so easy to configure now now another thing which i wanted to show was the memory which we just discussed so previously the memory was based on the thread which thread you are running but now if you just enable it it creates a vector store for you so memory store it's created memory store and then it will save the context based memory however there are some quota limitations and some quota to it which uh, you can see in the microsoft documentation let's move on to the next one so another big change is the foundry iq which is the new knowledge and the rag implementation so foundry iq connects your data does the indexing and enrichment and then uses the agent retrieval engine to do a multi-step search and synthesis so now it gives you much better grounded answers and it respects the security and the permission with the purview integration also so and how you can check this is if you'll go to the knowledge tools there's an option of connect to foundry iq so what you have to do is you have to create an ai search because right now it's not there if you'll go here let's save it first you have to save the agent and now it's gone to in the knowledge foundry iq so there if you have already resource created in azure then it's fine otherwise you need to create a resource and then connect it so once it's connected you can connect it to your agent and and then your agent will provide the answers based on the grounded search now we have the foundry control plane and this is where you operate and manage the full agent ecosystem and you get fleet wide visibility observability tracing evaluation and even the ai red teaming built in so it also integrates with defender in the purview for security and uses the ai gateway for usage and the cost control so this is one place for the governance so if we'll click on the operate so it shows how many agents are there and all those details like there are two agents which are created and how much time it has run and all and you can see the different models tools if you click on the compliance if you define the different policies or the security posture so you can create a different policy here which type of policy you have to create and you can define the quota this is this is just normal when you deploy a model how much quota it is so that you can see and if you'll click on the admin now you can see all the projects as well as the ai gateway so now what you have to do is you have to add an ai gateway so previously when we used to create the ai gateway we had to integrate it manually by ourselves so now when you add it will create an apim for you and then it will integrate it by ourselves and from here itself you can manage uh, the different quotas different security using the ai gateway which is available and finally the microsoft also introduced the entra agent id so because when the agents were created there was no entra id integration with it so which gives every agent a proper identity in entra id so this means you can apply the changes policies audit and do proper identity management for the agents the same way you do for the applications and the users so now if you'll go to microsoft entra admin center on the left side there is a agent id preview so you can see all your different agents here different agents then agent registry you can register it and agent collections 
and you can define so every agent gets an id object id and like the app registration you can define all the permissions and everything to the agent from here itself and lastly for the developers foundry supports the sdk for the python c sharp um, as well as the rest apis and there is also a vs code extension as well to explore the different models agents tools directly through your id so in short microsoft foundry is now a complete end to end solution for building and managing the enterprise grade ai agents so if you want me to create a full demo or step by step lab on any of these topics tell me in the comments and i will create it for you and lastly quickly just i want to show you so now this is the home portal and in the discover you see the different models different tools which are available which are the now custom connectors as well as the mcp server and in the solution if you want to create something microsoft has already provided the microsoft sample or the azure samples if you'll we'll click on for example generate documents from your data it provides a github link and then you go there and you get the code so document generation solution accelerator so you can use this code follow the instructions and so these are the different solutions which are available in so in the build i forgot to show you the different workflows so now you can create the different workflow either blank workflow like in logic app or the sequential group chat or human in the loop it's the same like agent loop so now they have integrated the logic app directly click here so it shows the different it's an example but you can change it same way um if we'll go back save no and you can create the human in the loop then it's a bit different so the different conditions you can define here on the workflow and this shows the different models which we have already deployed fine tune models different tools um so when you create a tool uh, in the in the discover you can add it here and in the knowledge it will be foundry iq in the data it's where the data if you have added the data locally here then the vectorization and everything synthetic data generation so all this will be stored here and the evaluations um, so you can you can create the different evaluations based on uh, the different metrics you can create and in the evaluation i missed one thing which is the red teaming so you can create the red team also based on the which agent you are testing on and there are different steps which you have to follow and then it will get to know then it will provide you whether um it's it's following the content and the safety and everything so there are different evaluators which are already available in this catalog you can use directly these or you can create your own in the card rails there are microsoft default version 2 and default version so in the version 2 there is a bit different which is the jailbreak is extra and you can uh, create your own as well as you can create your own like for example profanity and you can create your own block list and this one i have already showed you where which is the foundry control plane from where you control everything through the admin ai gateway and all the projects quota compliance and asset so these are all the changes which microsoft has introduced in this ignite in specifically in foundry so similarly i'll create the video on the different topics also so what has been changed in the ignite so that's all for this video thanks for watching i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much